Okay, so today the NRL has announced it is introducing a mandatory 11-day stand-down policy for concussion. Um, now, it's a minimum stand-down of 11 days. The player may be out for longer. There are also some caveats around this, where the independent and the team doctors will, will assess uh, the player in question. Now, for me, I think it's a, it's, it's a start in the right direction. Uh, I personally think as someone who has, has played rugby union, at least, and, and has had concussion before myself, I, I think the stand-down period should, should, will m most likely end up being longer in time as more data and more research is done on, on concussions and head injuries because every year we're finding out more information. We're finding out uh, more about the effects of concussion long term. Um, and we've already seen some, some, some nasty concussions so far in the opening weeks of the NRL season. And yeah, I, I think, yeah, as I said, I think it is a step in the right direction. I think as time goes on and as more research is done, I think the mandatory stand down period will be lengthened. Um, how uh, it will be interesting to see how it actually impacts the game. There's been a lot of criticism over the, the independent doctor and team doctors and the HIA protocols prior to this. And prior to this announcement, 11 days was recommended, not compulsory. It was a week stand down. So they, they have, for whatever reason, decided partway through the season to bring this new regulation in. I don't like seeing rule changes mid-season. I really don't. But on a safety standpoint, I think this is the right thing to do. Um, for those who are saying the game has gone soft, um, the players are bigger, they're more powerful, the game is faster, the collision the collision area uh, is more brutal than it was 20 or 30 years ago. Um, and, and, the, and the wear and tear on the body, this, is, this, this I, is something that I think needs to be thought of. Some of the players are, well, far bigger than they've ever been. They are massive. Um, and, and, and we have seen in recent years some high profile players having to retire early because of concussion. Um, we've seen some players who've missed a lot of time in recent seasons because of conc concussion. So Caelan Ponger is the example that will get used. He has missed a lot of game time because of concussion and, and, and the concussion related symptoms. Uh, he missed most of half of last season because of concussion. He's been knocked out in round two and he was also technically, he failed his HIA in round one. So he's had two concussions so far this season. One of them has now ruled him out for several weeks. This rule is designed to protect the players. The A and, and, and the, bear in mind, this, this has been announced today. The AFL is now facing a class action lawsuit by ex-players in regards to uh, concussion. The NFL has faced a class action lawsuit. The NHL has faced a class action lawsuit. And I think there's a bit of self-preservation about the NRL in this sense, but they're actually, I, I, I believe, leading the way in the mandatory stand-down period. I think other contact team sports uh, and leagues at some point will follow suit. They'll be watching how the NRL do this. They'll be watching the response to it. Uh, from what I can gather, the players seem to be in agreement that uh, it is designed to protect themselves from themselves. Um, and there doesn't seem to be much in the way of pushback from the game. But there are those fans, old school fans, who go, the game's gone soft. Honestly, the, the players are bigger, more powerful and faster. The collisions are more destructive than what they were before. And yes, we've taken fighting out of the game. Uh, to for the most part but this is designed to protect the players so we'll see what happens long term i think the mandatory stand-down period will be lengthened at some point as more data and more research is done but i think this is the right way to go so we'll see what happens going forward but thank you very much from me uh, for watching place your thoughts in the comments section below and i'll have some more content for you very very soon